Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to set a plum sail cross site lookup column for SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online in Office 365. In the root web I have created a list of countries. Here it is. I made a picture column called flag and filled it with flags of the countries. In the nested web I create a custom list and name it employees. Now I want to add a country lookup column to this list, which will use the list of countries from the root site as data source. So I go to Employees list and click Manage Plum Sale Lookups button in the ribbon. Here I have to enter the name of my first lookup column, Country. OK. Now I have to select the data source list for my lookup. I change the web, OK, and select Countries list. Here I can specify the field from countries list that will be shown in our lookup column, in my case its title. With the following option I can enable multiple values for my lookup column. I check it to demonstrate what this field looks like with multiple selection and I will revert it later. And the next option allows to add a link for creating your items in the source list directly from the form. I check it too. Here I can specify the text of new item link, add a new country, and the next field is for new item content type ID. If you have multiple content types in your source list, you can specify the identifier of the default one, so when the user clicks new item they will see a form for the specified content type. I leave it blank. I will demonstrate advanced settings of cross-site lookup a bit later. OK, let's look at what we get. In the drop-down I see top 10 items and when I scroll them, the new items are automatically loaded from the server. As soon as I start typing here, corresponding results are loaded. Because of asynchronous loading, cross-site lookup field can work with large lists of thousands of items as data source. Let's add a new country, for example Morocco, which I haven't had in the countries list yet. As you can see, the new country automatically appears in the result set. By default, unless you enter a text in the filter, the results are sorted by created date. If you type in a text, the results are sorted by lookup column. You can change this behavior in advanced settings of cross-site lookup. Now we'll demonstrate how you can customize the template of the result set. In order to simplify search and navigation through the source list, you can include additional columns into the result set. So, if you work with a list of contacts, it can be email, photo, phone number or position. In my case, I will add the flag near country name. I open Lookup's management dialog. Here I disable multiple values to demonstrate what this field looks like a single lookup. Open advanced setting. In the first template, you can edit requests for results from the source list. You can change sorting, filtering and columns you wish to retrieve. I add column flag to select statement. In the second template, you can define HTML for an item in the result set. Here we can use all fields defined in the select statement. As you can see, I use my flag field. Let's see the form. Now users see flags in addition to the country names. Excellent! Now let me show you what our cross-site lookup looks like in a view and in the display form. It is just a link that opens related items in a dialog window. The same is in the display form. You can download the trial version and find additional info on our website spform.com. Thank you.